Well, that says, when the government fears the people, there is liberty. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. Wow. That's been up there for a pretty good while. Last, last year, or year and a half ago, I, I found it, seen it, did a video about it. It makes me think about what I had just said in the previous video. I said every key hot topic word that gets censored by YouTube and the Google a analytics and the way they got their AI all fixed up for having people to fear the government, fear YouTube, and fear that your channel will get taken down, feel fear that one day they might come and accost you. I'm going to tell you something. When you get motivated, and you get awakened to the truth of what's going on in this reality, it changes you. It changes you down into your very atoms, your DNA. And that's what I was saying is happening within each and every one of us. Whether we know it or not, we're speaking life or death. Our minds are powerful. If we went under so much sim simulated subliminal interference we would really see what's going on you know the glasses you remember the movie <laughs> yeah that you remember the movie the matrix yeah yeah they showing us and telling us there's a law in the universe that says they have to tell us what they're going to do before they do it and in some cases they give us years and years advance notice 9-11 is one of those cases I don't want to go off into it, but all you got to do is search it out for yourself. Pre-9-11 in movies. Just, well, yeah, if you're willing to look, you'll find that there's plenty of things that was telling us years ahead of what was going to happen, that it was going to happen. So, the body motivated. Yeah, it'd be easy for me to not be out here today in this cold weather. But I can tell by the time I rode that bike yesterday, didn't even make it 10 miles. It's just short of 10 miles by a quarter of a mile or so. I have got to work out. I've got to move. I've got to make this body become back in shape. Muscle memory is a wonderful thing. But sitting on the couch ain't going to get it. Oh, look what I found. A purse. Ain't got... Let's go online and show you. Ain't got nothing in it. <laughs> well. All right. I am sticking it in my back pocket <laughs> while I was doing that. It's pretty. It ain't wet. It's, you know, it's... Hey. If it had money in it, I would tell the people, come and get it, because I don't want it. But it's just a bag. If it's your bag, you find it online, give me a call, I'll let you have it back. Okay. How, how does a person get motivated? Well, I didn't get motivated until I got to the end of me. And within that awakening, of who I am in reality and in my mind and consciousness that's when I found out that I was the Buddha from Mississippi just the word Buddha not the religion the word Buddha is just a word it's a symbol that points to what happens into a mind that starts asking deep questions and thinking Christians do it all the time but somewhere we all get stuck we get stuck in these huge ruts and don't know if we'll ever get out of them but it's possible and I'm a living example of that and that's why I like to try to explain things even though in my country ass feeble way 
I have a hard time stringing sentences and words together that make it sound so eloquently that I have millions and millions and millions of followers. I don't. I have a few good ones. I have a few that find me because I've been so prolific at putting certain words out there. Over the years, these certain keywords got triggered by the AI that Google and Facebook and YouTube use. So they started, my blog page started getting less and less views, but it's still there. And I'm here at this, at this thing, you can see you push this button right here. And then you look across there and you see the little hand. He says, hey, you wave. And when that hand goes white with a little leggy person walking, that's when you can go across it. So these people ain't used to seeing Buddy Huggers. Let's see if he's going to do it. Watch, see right there? Boom, it took off. Ha! Now I can go. See, you think they're going to come this way, but no, they're not. They got to go that way. <laughs> that's how it works. Look, it's counting me down. If you were old and out of shape, you'd run out of time. And look, he's supposed to yield to productions. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't even look at me. All right, let's get on down here and see what we can find out. I noticed this house the other day. That house has been there for a while. Been there for a while. You can see one awning is, is tore down, hanging. The other awning is just metal parts for it. House has been abandoned. That's what you can say about that. All right, motivating. Yeah, there's key people in my life that motivated me. Les Brown's one. Oh, there's many others, but I love Les's work. So. <laughs> He has a way of talking. And he has a heart of gold. And he gives way more than he ever got. I don't know how much he's ever made. I don't care to know. But uh, in a conversation with him not many months ago, he's bound and determined that he's going to live out his life giving more than he ever got. So... When he said that, that's when I wanted to try to help him. And I made that open letter to Les Brown. If you ain't seen that video, go look at it. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Sidney Banks, Three Principles. He, he did an open letter to Oprah Winfrey in his last two years here on the planet. Was hoping he'd get in front of Oprah and it could turn into something. And um, he could get his message out about the Three Principles. The three principles are simple. I'll give you to you real quick. Mind, thought, and consciousness. Think about that. Mind, thought, and consciousness. When you put all three of those together, you can have the greatest peace that you've ever thought you, you wanted in your life because of what it means to be consciously aware of your thoughts. And he's not a Buddhist, he's not a Hindu, he's not a Christian. He's a person that lived it. Les Brown is a person that lived his walk and walked his talk. If anything does ever happen to me, these videos and my blog is my library. It's for my generations of grandchildren's children to see where granddaddy Buddy Huggins <laughs> pissed a lot of people off or made a lot of people happy. <laughs> it don't really matter to me which way it goes down in history. It's what it is. When you know something and you want to give it to the world, like that 5G piece sitting right over there and what all the in the world do they have to surround us with it. You got another one right there. And then it continues all the way up in town. It don't make no sense. It goes that way, all the way out there to where that <laughs> upscale rehab treatment center is. Can you imagine? They've ran the wire 
past these subdivisions out there all the way across Green Bridge to that building. Can you imagine that they did that? Well, yeah, they did. All right. Well, I've run kind of long on this one, so I'm going to stop and get my thoughts together. <laughs> Make another one to see if I can web it together. I don't think I did so good on this one, but who knows.